Hello guys, and I am D4 Takedown, and yet again we are back on with Eternium. So, yeah, let's see what we're doing today. Basically, we're having another recap of the speed leveling one that we did yesterday, I believe. Um, because, well, I've been doing a little bit more research into this. And, of course, we've uh, covered the story's way of maximising the leveling up. Obviously, there's always the dungeon, but I didn't think of suggesting that on the last one because, well, you need keys and it takes three hours for every key that you get every time you use one, so you're waiting around a lot. Um, so, yeah, we're not going to cover the story again today. We are going into Trials. Oh, yeah. A fun little thing I have uh, clocked on to. One, I started last on the last video, I believe I had like 30 some of the gems, I'm now on 62, and I've only done the trials three times, which is about half an hour. If you're asking me, I think that's quite reasonable, yeah? So we're on the trial of strength, I haven't played this one yet, so I don't know what to expect, I don't know what the time lengths are, or anything like that, but you can see for yourself on the amount of experience we can earn in the space of time that we have. So when we get in, we'll see how much uh, experience we're currently on, and by the end, we'll be able to generally see how much experience we can get in a single run. Anyway, guys, I forgot to ask. I hope everyone's okay. Um, yeah. I hope we have a few new listeners, maybe, or watchers, maybe, maybe, and any of those that have uh, been listening so far. Hello, welcome back. Glad to see you guys decided to come along with the rest of the trip. I do apologise about these loading times, it really does take a while, doesn't it? Oh, Jiminy Wilkes. Come on! We want a chop chop. Chop it real good. Chop it real good. Chop it, chop it. Hey, chop it real good. Alright, so let's have a look see. So, I've noticed the general idea of these little trials are, well, usually exactly what they said the last one was basically just to kill everything within a certain time limit. And um, when the time limit came to an end, the boss decided to pop up, and he was a lovely dragon. Truly, truly friendly. So, as you can see, we are at the beginning of level 23. Don't have much experience at this immediate moment. Hoping, as you can see, it's actually raising quite quick under the circumstances. Oh, see these guys here? The lynchers, they're brilliant to go up against. Um, solely for the fact that they're summoners. So if you don't aim at them directly, and there's a few of them, you can actually get them just to keep summoning and summoning and summoning. Oh, it's great. A really, really impressive way to gain a lot of experience in a very, very short space of time. Again, the other little trip to this one we're checking is... Oh, Christ, he's not attacking that light. That, that, that's helpful, isn't it? Sorry about that, guys. I was paying attention to what I'm saying. Um... Yeah, as I was saying, the other thing that we're going to be paying attention to is the gem drop rate. As you can see, we've already collected one, and we're about a minute into this. Again, I think it's faster than the level-based version. You know, going against the uh, Margoth. Only half HP version the first time you go up against him. I don't really see it's worth it. I've tried that trick, guys. It doesn't work for me. I get one maybe every two to three kills. One. Now, I've had double drops on this with gems. Double drops taking me back now to my old school grinding days of Nine Dragons where you got double drops of BE, Blood Essence. Yeah, it was rare. They were hard to find. They didn't happen very often. And we are truly just slurring into these guys. Oh, here we go. Oh no, we're gonna kill him. Never mind, never mind. But, there we go. We're at 10% experience so far. And we've covered about 2 minutes, I reckon. So reasonable amounts of experience through the trials. I think that is the best way so far without cheating, because I'm not a cheater. I hate the cheat system. I only believe that you're allowed to cheat in a game once you've completed it. And I mean completely completed it. You've gone through on legendary difficult and everything. You've completely completed it. Old school. Put a bit of effort of it in. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, the only downfall to this one so far is we've only had one gem drop, which I'm not too impressed about. I was hoping for one or two more by now. But never mind, we'll continue to slash and slash. And chubby chubby. 
Chop it good. Chop it chop it. Sorry. Of course, there's always mystery boxes. That funky little thing I've just left on the ground back there. We can always crack them open for five gems, but you've got to watch an ad and you've got to be online and or at least have a Wi-Fi connection or something. I'm trying to show you guys what I'm talking about, so at this immediate moment, that's not really an option for me to be wasting time doing stuff like that. I know, I will be fair, I don't often do that. It's only if I'm really intent on doing something. There we go, second gem, gem. okay. Again, not the fastest way of doing it. I think I may show you the um, trial number eight. Trial number eight, I seem to get quite a few good drops off there. But again, I'm now piled level with it, so uh, that might explain why. Yeah, let's check a few techniques in, because, well, we're coming up to the boss. Yeah, we've only got a few minutes left. And he's just going to drop in regardless. It doesn't matter what you're doing. Or at least that's how it was last time. So, I'm trying to learn from my mistakes, guys, and I'm trying to show you them so you guys don't make the same. Oh, there we go. Third gem drop. See what I mean? They do drop, guys. You know, th this is the quickest way I found. Old school grind. No cheating. And don't get me wrong, guys I've seen on, on online, yeah, great, that probably worked for you. Like, this technique might not work for you guys. But, as long as you know it, maybe it will. Again, with the experience, you can't argue, especially if you're going against a number of guys like this. Oh, never mind, I killed all the lynches. So, no more extra experience from the lynches, never mind. But we will continue to kill, oh, and we will continue to hack chop and slash and knock these monkeys down because we are almost at 30 percent and we are level 23 here so the experience isn't exactly grand if you're going through the storyline trying to grind here people i know trust me i'm currently working through that 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 at the moment and it is a pain in my bum there we go fourth gem fourth gem drop guys see see what i'm trying to say to you see what i'm trying to show to you yeah, these trials, you can do them as many times as you want. Seriously, yeah, it gets a bit tedious, yeah, it gets a bit boring. But seriously, if you're willing to put a little bit of effort in, look what you can get back out of it in such a short space of time compared to what you have to do. Especially if you decided not to go with a mage class and do it old school with a warrior class like me. Yes, I chose the warrior class. I didn't think, oh, the mage has got an area of effect attack. That's going to be great. No, didn't cross my mind that. I thought warrior. Yeah, a tanker. Mm, boom, 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 boom. Die, die. Yeah, don't get me wrong. It's working that way, and I, I, I do like my warriors. But I'm usually a healer type, to be fair. Especially with, when I was playing with D4, Sonic, and Nine Dragons. I was the healer. Gotta keep, I gotta keep the people alive. Gotta keep the people happy. Oh, look there. Double drop, double drop gems. Can you see it, guys? Double drop. And yeah, sorry I took my face out of this one to, to minimize the lag or anything. We've got three and a half minutes, so we should be able to take out this little horde. Let's play a trick. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm, I've brought not brought my main um, Marcus, not brought him with me today. I've uh, brought the other guys. One's my healer, now at level 20, so they got a decent heal. Really impressed. Really happy with that. Trying to get my uh, ninja assassin up to level 20 now, so they've got their master, sh uh, master skills, shall we say. Mm, can't get those S's out at the moment, can I very well? Never mind, never mind. We will continue to show you guys what I'm on about. Look at that, almost 50%, guys. 50% now. Yeah? Not even finished this, not even, it's been 10, no, not even 10 minutes, it's been, well, started with 9, we're on 2.5 minutes left at the moment, so, you know, do the math. It's like 7.5 minutes. Not bad, right? And, um, yeah. Hey, you nailing it. Absolutely nailing it. So... So 
So at the moment this is the best way I have found for us to level up, the best way I've found to get gems. Both in one fell swoop. Both at the same time, both on the same level. So... But all you gotta do is use the trials. I'm guessing this is what they're there for. We've got 1 minute 50 left. We're gonna have to move to a open area in about a minute. That's completely cleared of these mobs. Because... The boss... Maybe more difficult than I'm anticipating, to be fair. Because... I'm level 23, the monsters here are level 24, 25s. Um, so, yeah, yeah. My best bet is to clear the area as best and as quick and as efficiently as I possibly can. Okay. Fall back. No, we're not. We're gonna attack. We're gonna keep attacking because there's a gem there. Do you see what I'm trying to say to you guys? There's another gem. Yeah, we're up to 70 now, guys. 70. I have no idea how many more I can get by, by the end of this because I know there's still a bit more of this map to go. Plenty more enemies up there, as you can see, and we're gonna fall back now because we've got 43 seconds. Yeah, let's, let's check this way. This way might be a little quieter, you see. There we go, yeah, just a, a small stack. Last 30 seconds, go, just give us something to do. I was expecting more. 20 seconds. <laughs> but as you can see, guys, I'm now up to near 70%. As a, a, no, it's 60. Oh, and, Oh yeah, I was right, we're near 70% in a single run. I, I dare, yeah, I'm officially, I'm daring you people to find a quicker, more efficient way of leveling up. Because I can't, I've tried. Are we good? We're not getting attacked this time. Oh, yip de doo da. Then we'll just keep attacking. Because we're here for the experience, not the boss. There's another gem. 71 now. Hmm? You guys trying to, you know, this is, this is what I'm all about. I'm here to help you guys. Again, this is why I keep saying, suggest games. I can crack on. I can find these little things. I'll end up telling you guys. I have to. It's, it's what I want to do. There he is. The big broken dragon. I was about to call him the black dragon. So, as I called it, the dude's here. After killing enough, well, everything, he decides to pop up, which is just truly lovely. And he will spawn, if he's anything like the previous versions, little draggling, draglings. We'll see them shortly, I'm sure. We're getting close to the point where he summons... There they are. I'll just keep going after the broken dragon. We'll use a potion and be on the side. No, we'll go after these dragon dragonlings. There you go. Their proper official turn. But again, getting really good experience out of them. You know, we're coming up on 80% here. It's still only in one mission. You know, guys, I, I, no tricks, none of this. No, it's it's all been legitimate, actual footage. You've watched me play and talk. As I've been playing and explaining exactly what's happening, what's going on, what's everything, yeah. So, I, I hope this is as helpful to you guys as it's been come as helpful to me as well. Because I'm really quite impressed with this little, uh, I don't know what to call it, hint? Yeah, let's, let's keep it as a hint. This little hint that I found, or tip, whichever one you want to call it. Oh, come on, let's kick his ass, stick him down. Taking so long, let's get some white shots and shit. Now, come on. That's right, knock him, knock him down. Now, I'm sure if we kill it in time, and uh, the timer is still rolling, 
I'm fairly certain we'll probably get a loot or, or, or something out of this. See? There we go. And one gem, guys. Yeah. After all of that, I got one gem. Whoop, whoop. Yay. They, they really know how to spoil your ass on this game, don't they? To be fair. But yeah, we'll end up this uh, level and we'll see how much experience we got up to. Again, we started at level 23. I've got my fingers crossed to get a little bit closer to level 24. Because we're only 20% off now. You know, we're getting there. We're getting really, really close now. And I don't know how many mobs or anything that have actually left on this level. Um, but I'm hoping. I've got my fingers crossed that we've got enough to get the extra 17-ish percent that we're after. With a little, little bit of luck. They may be willing to give me this last 15% that I'm after. 12, come on. Eleven. Oh. I don't know, I think we're out mobs here, guys. I think we're out monsters. There's, there's no fa- Oh! Oh! Go on left. You'll do. The zombie, but a little loo. Now. Here we are, here we are, here we are, here we are. Come on. Come on, we can get a level like this. Another jam. So we've, we, we've definitely got 10 gems out of this so far. Right? Fairly slow, we started on like 62 to 64, so I'm, I'm assuming we've definitely got 10 out of this so far. And we've almost, almost got a level. Just a few. More. Oh god. Come on. I don't think this one was right. Okay, that's now a dead end. Well guys, I think that's it. I think I've killed them all. I, 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 I honestly don't believe I left anything here. Oh! Oh! Look at that, I left a few. And I got an extra jam. Well, that's it, guys. So we are literally on the precipice of hitting that next level. And we've got a nice few selection of gems there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you see what I'm trying to say to you guys now? So, again, the best way that I have now found is run through the trials. Push yourselves a little bit further. Trust me, even if you die, use your gold. res yourselves. It's well worth it. If you've got, if you're at a point where you need to get those extra levels, um, so yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the show, and I hope my advice is somewhat helpful to you guys. As always, please like and comment below um, if you have any extra advice that you think that I've overlooked. Please again add it below. I do not mind. Um, yeah, go for it. And as always, if you're enjoying the show. Please don't forget to hit that little subscribe button. Can you see it on your screen? Just below the, the, the movie there, or well, the video. Yeah, that's in orange. Can, yeah, just, just click that button right there. Just there. Yeah, yeah. 
Alright, take care of yourselves guys, and until next time, I've been D4 Takedown, and this has been the D4 Takedown Gaming Channel, and we were covering Eternium Hints and Tips of Speed Leveling. Take care, bye!